Pope John here. It's um, 3.21 a.m. on Tuesday, the 2nd of October 2024. I've just got a call from Nathan in Britain. I put a claim into a debt collection company there and it was um, for £275 and they said they want to talk to me about the £275 claim that I'm making with them. I did that so that I could get a response and I told them that it was £17 trillion, not £275, like I said to him. And then he gave me his phone number, is plus four four twenty thirty eight thirty eight seven zero three seven Nathan. And now I've got someone I can talk to in Britain because the other companies that I rang won't answer their phone. So this guy might do something. He gave me his email address, <coughs> <coughs> so I'll write to him and send the details to him and he said he'll look at it. Okay, so that's a debt collection company that can look at it for me and uh, that's what I'm, I'm pleased now. I've got someone there that's got guts to talk to me and the other shut their fucking mouth and say nothing. That's Charlie Dellinghol Dellingpole, CEO of Money Laundering Company comply advantage that I knew that company right back from tag pay days with the French company tag pay and now it's called Scarly and they have covered it up all these years and kept me way out of the way otherwise I used to work with the Scarly or tag pay uh, through Singapore all right but now it's changed they're covering up their tracks and I'm going to blow them right into sky eye obliterate. Okay, so so there, here, this guy might help me and get to the truth of the matter. I said I'm very good at what I do in native court and 50 years of experience at it with the British Crown. And I said that's all I know and I'll send the stuff to him and see how, how he takes it. Somebody's going to open their bloody mouth sooner or later and blow the whistle on everybody else there in Britain that's gone and screwed the whole world up and making lives bad to worse with the Americans behind the biggest scams in the world and their crypto at the moment. Don't touch the bloody thing. It's poison. Everything America made is poison. It's spraying the skies, jabbing people with this stupid poison and 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 dirtying the water and the food, lacing the food with bloody no good things. That's Americans' brain. The brain is fucked. The brain of American is fucked. Just like Camilla Harris and Biden, mad in the heat. They are bloody psychiatric problems that are trying to run a political world with brain-dead people there. Okay, those brain-dead people and Netanyahu in Israel, another brain-dead bloody fuckwit. And also those in the WEF and that class tribe is buggered off now and left everything to this other fellow, Harari, that says they have hacked humans, are uh, hackable, and he's running the bloody dead show and keeping that dead business going and I'm talking live with my mouth moving, lips moving and that they have to refute my affidavit which is video on top of the documents that I've never got a refute from it and this guy here just might be the one to crack the bloody code okay wide open and spill their guts everywhere in front of everybody so they can smash it in pieces the bloody dirty world that's their dirty brains get rid of them out of the way so that the law wins over the dirty law and the dirty crypto of american and 
Michael Saylor and his fucking Bitcoin is fucking hyped up fraud, just like JP Morgan's bank CEO director Jamie Dimon says, Bitcoin is one big hyped up fraud. I'm sticking him to it on his video as an affidavit of truth in the court hearing in the High Court of Admiralty in the Royal Burling Building in London. I've already set it up for me to go there, but I'll have the money soon to get there, to pull them into the court there. <coughs> <coughs> Hang the bastards by the law. <coughs> yeah, so there. That's that. I've been talking to uh, um, Clayton um, Holloway tonight for a long time, and he'll come around and see me tomorrow, but that's just between me and him, nobody else. I'm on a warpath. Nobody talks to me while I'm on a warpath with Britain and those people running the racket in Westminster shoot the bastards to bits with the law on top of their heads. The law of the land of England, sovereign natives. Okay, wake up you natives of England. Where the hell are you? Where are you? Well, you're lost just like the Maoris here are lost now because these Pakehas in the parliament have thrown them into the gutter. That's all they think about them now because they've screwed them of everything, Maori, land and everything. That was just a fake illusion. That's all it is, a fake illusion and set up to screw the native people of New Zealand, especially the Maori because the Maori was an invention of a Pakeha white man's head. The fucking white man British head that dreamt that up. Okay, Queen Victoria, that one. That bad one, and the Queen Elizabeth, the woman, fucked the whole world up. The woman needs to get back to a real man, not Charlie. He's a fucking pedophile, no use for anything, and can't hook himself to where he got the money from to get his wealth. We're going in after it and seize the whole bloody lot back into the native people of the land there. Ownership as landlord. If you know how that works, I'll show you how it works in Admiralty King's Bench Court Magistrate Law. Okay, I know what I'm doing. I'm my own competing witness to no more than a fucking lawyer or a judge or a fucking politician for that matter. Excuse my language, but that's how you talk to pirates on the high sea and not people on a dry land. Okay, they don't have authority of corporations on a dry land. So there, we're going to talk for ourselves as the normal living people on their own land once their country back. Okay, that's that. Um, I'll just make sure that um, um, I've got that going and I'll finish this off now and I'll get in touch with Nathan, get the email and send them the documents <coughs> and then he can look straight into it and let me know if he's going to take the case on as a debt collection company. Okay, it'd be better than the fucking measly mu 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 municipal or not municipal, useless British government. Useless British Crown government. They can't answer the bloody phone. Okay, that's it. It's now 3.34 a.m. and uh, Tuesday the 2nd of October 2024 and we'll talk to you the next round. Okay, bye.